my daughter called while we were uh, commuting back from the Portland airport. I, I had driven up to pick up my wife who flew in from Indiana and her plane was late. Uh, otherwise I would have been home by nine o'clock tonight. Well, uh, it was tied up in Denver. There was snow and wind. So I sat up in Portland waiting for her. So uh, uh, right around, oh, uh, just the outskirts of Salem, I get this call from my daughter and she's in tears. The pole barns burnt down and uh, anyway, that, uh, so we were, uh, my wife Joyce and myself, we were very anxious, like, uh, who, was anybody hurt? Uh, and uh, thank God nobody was hurt. Uh, but uh, nevertheless, uh, we're out of the building and, and we had wood stored and uh, so it's, uh, it's awful. Uh, uh, you talk about these things and then, uh, you know, Ash Wednesday of all times. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I, it's kind of ironic, Ash Wednesday and I'm, I got a pile of ashes right now. It's, uh, I have a variance. I'm a disabled vet uh, from the Vietnam era, and so uh, I uh, have two occupancies here on a hardship variance. So uh, we have a lot of buildings. So it was like I hope what we call our little yellow house that's uh, uh, probably 10 foot away from the pole barn isn't scorched. Uh, oh, right now I'm just uh, full of questions and and, uh, and the, the chief says, well, come daylight, he'll do an investigation and, and we'll have some answers as, as to what happened. So.